Good morning and welcome to PB&J Craft. This is Gabriel. And today we'll be doing something a little bit different. I believe I mentioned in one of my um, in one of my PB&J Craft videos that I wanted to play some of Mojang's other games or Mojang's other games. I really got to figure out how to pronounce that. Um, one of those games is Scrolls. I haven't really played much Scrolls. I, I only have played it in the past month or so. Uh, maybe a little bit more than that. I, I haven't played it too many times though. Um, you'll notice that when I created or when I bought, Mo, uh, bought Scrolls, I didn't realize I was signed into my daughter's um, account. So I actually, this is, I'm signed in as Little J instead of as Patrick. Um, we bought um, her an account, obviously she's too young to play right now, but just as a camera account um, to do like third person camera stuff. Um, so anyway, this is the, uh, this is the <laughs> account that I play with scrolls on. Um, so let's check this out. Um, this is the arena, blah, blah, blah. We're going to start with the tutorial, then skirmishes and trials, uh, multiplayer is quick rank, quick match, rank match, and judgment. Um, so we're going to start off with the basic single player stuff and we'll start with the basic tutorials. Now I've already done these, uh, but we're going to do them again. Uh, together. The idea with scrolls is, oh, here we go. You win a game by destroying three of your opponent's idols. So these are the idols here. Um, looks like I have a good crew out here. Storm Knight. This guy I like, the Honorable General. General. Uh, he can make he makes adjacent units count when his countdown gets to zero anyone adjacent goes to zero or goes down by two so unless they have a really high countdown uh, they go to zero as well so he can he, he can do uh, some good stuff there he gives adjacent units relares gives adjacent units plus one attack so he should be giving um, Yeah, he should be giving him a plus one. I'm not sure why he's not. Um, maybe just because it's a tutorial and they don't expect you to notice that. Um, okay. So I assume I already did stuff for the turn because it's saying click the hourglass. You click the hourglass after you're done. Let's see what happens here. That didn't take a whole lot of action. I didn't actually do anything. Um, okay. Oh, good. This one I actually get to do stuff in. <laughs> um, okay. So right now I have no resources available to me. So I need to sacrifice a scroll to get a growth resource. Now I have one out of my total of one available, and I'm gonna play the Beast Rat. He looks a lot smaller on the, uh, on the battlefield than he does on the card. Okay, so I've spent my resources, I'm ready to go. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So he costs one, attack value of one. He only attacks every two turns, and he has two hearts of health. This is a scary-looking dude, by the way. He didn't do anything for whatever reason. Okay, I drew a new scroll. I have the Kinfolk Ranger. 
I gotta sacrifice one of them. He doesn't do anything again. I've already um, apparently got this one down. So let's move. Okay. Good. He's gonna, okay, let's look at this for a second. He has haste. That means even though his countdown is two normally, he attacks right away when he's played. So let's do him here. So my the beast rat will take out here and the ragged wolf will take out this one. And that'll be it. Normally I would get gold for these, but um, it's, I've already played them, so. Spells and enchantments, how to sacrifice for scrolls. Uh, we've already sacrificed for scrolls. Oh, sacrifice for scrolls, okay. Um, it's a close match. Yeah. He's, they're both at zero. Um, they're both at zero. He deal, he would attack two. He's going to go down. She has attack four. Um, what's her name? Sister, sister of the bear. Yeah. She could take out my kinfolk ranger pretty easily. Unfortunately, yes, I have Sister of the Bear. I can't play her because I only have three growth. So I want to sacrifice for two new scrolls. Uh huh. Okay. And what does the champion ring do? Champion gets plus two attack. Okay. Okay, and what does the Binding Root Enchantment do? Okay, can no longer move. That's nice. She's going to keep attacking that empty place because she can't move anymore. Sacrifice for scrolls. Enchanted units you control have the countdown decreased by two. Okay. Oh, okay, so this one's enchanted with the champion I played last round. So I just have to cast it and it automatically applies to the beast rat. So I don't know all the game dynamics. I just know the basics. Okay, Bragged Wolf has haste. Play in front of my I opponent's weakest idol. Okay. So this will attack three and take out that one. This attacks, it takes out that one. And we'll be good. You only have to destroy three of your opponent's idols to win. Grimbald. You did nothing. You were terrible. Back to lobby. Okay, so those are the basic tutorials. Let's do a few more of these. Good luck. Have fun. Okay. Um... So I had no resources to start with, so I sacrificed resources first. He builds a useless contraption. Great. I have two Kinfolk Rangers, sacrifice one of them. Kinfolk Brave has a countdown of one. So I like him because he fights more often than not. I had the Kinfolk Ranger 
has better health than Kinfolk Brave, but uh, the countdown is two instead of one. Let's sacrifice another one of these. Okay, so now that my Beast Rail attack and then Kinfolk Brave will attack. If he just plays these useless contraptions all game, it's going to get old real quick. Okay, let's let's sacrifice the beast rat. Oh, yeah, let's sacrifice the beast rat and play the sister of the bear. Yeah, when the when the AI is set on easy for these tutorials, it's really set on easy. Okay, let's nog, nog. Nog, you look pretty weak, but that's okay. We'll play anyway. We'll play nog, we'll play kinfolk brave. I think he's got a handful of useless contraptions. Tell you what. Okay. Ooh, Outcast Rebel. He's got some strength. Um, but his countdown is three. Well, we'll bring him into play anyway. Okay, there's one done. Let's move both of these down. You're gonna attack, you're gonna attack, you're gonna attack. Two, one, two. Um. Might as well move you here, move you there, and we'll play the Outcast Rebel. Well, no, we'll sacrifice, and we'll bring the Sister of the Bear into play up here. Okay, so Kinfolk Brave will take out this one here. He'll take out one there. Let's move this guy up there. Who is that? Um, Outcast Rebel. And then move Sister the Bear here. So she'll take out that one too. Doesn't really matter what we do. GG means good game. Friendly people sometimes say it at the end of a match. GG Grimbold. GG. Let's do one more tutorial for now and then we'll actually play a game. Um, and we'll come back to the tutorials in future, uh, in future videos. Let's see what to do here, what to do. Let's sacrifice a junkyard and play a junkyard. Now this is not a um, not an animal. It doesn't attack. It's a structure. See wall structure wall. Uh, but it gives my rats plus one attack and plus one health. Grimbold actually does something. So I'll play a beast rat, which will get a boop, plus one on both of those. Sacrifice an outcast rebel. Bring another beast rat into play, who will also get his plus ones. OK, 
Grimbold puts up useless contraption. Let's see. Sacrifice for resources. Bring Kinfolk Brave into play. Loving those, <laughs> loving those useless contraptions, huh, Grimbold? You go, man. Look at this. This has to be the most useless walking stick ever. Just look at, look at that. That's completely non-effective. He's no wonder he's hunched over so much. Okay. The vitality well. Let's take a look at this. When the Vitality Well's counter becomes zero, units you control are healed by one. Okay. And it works immediately. Um, so is everyone going to get a plus one in there? Oh, they only go back to their max. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's okay. So that one went up one one. Went up one. And I don't get to sacrifice. Okay, Grimbald, you better put a new the useless contraption out. Good. It was starting to get dangerous for you. Okay, I'm gonna sacrifice my outcast rebel. I'll play the ancestral totem because this will give everybody a plus one attack. Oh, Gravelock Raider, what have you done? Okay, let's, <laughs> let's get another well into play here. And Sure, we'll put Kinfolk Brave into play. The good thing is these are not on the same count, so they'll work separately. A lot of structures... Oh, I forgot to move him. Okay, good. Let's get some beast. Let's get another beast rat out here. They're going to attack. Yeah, you know, we're going to move you guys. Move you there. No, that was silly. Why did I do that? Doesn't matter. Um... And we'll play you there. Okay, we're just one. Uh, oh, oh. So we were close. We got. So we have to take out that. Actually, having three vitality wells is nice. Every round, that's one healing. Uh, the Kinfolk Braves need to be moved up. There you go. Okay. Um, actually, I would have preferred Sister of the Bear. Oh, we'll, we'll put another junkyard down here. So not this round, but the next round, it should be over. Because one of the, these are both going to go down to zero. And one of them will take out this, and one of them will take out that. I 
There we go. Okay, Grimbold. GG. Okay, let's actually play an easy skirmish. I'll use the growth starter deck. Since that's what you've seen before. So this is a totally totally fresh game. Uh, I the Eagle sacrifice play the ragged wolf. Okay. Let's sacrifice Sister of the Bear. Enchanted Unit's countdown is increased by one. Hmm. Wow, that... Ow. Note to self, that little dude packs a punch. Okay, um... In my experience, it's really helpful. You only get so many scrolls in each game. Um, I've used five out of my 43. Or I've, I've used five, I have 40, I had 43 remaining, now I have 42 remaining. And in my experience, getting that growth number High is pretty helpful. Okay. Oh, that was such a useless play. Oh my gosh. His countdown was already zero. Too bad there's no back button. Oh. That was useless. These guys are creepy. They have a special thing too. Structures and automaton, automatons, you, auto, automatons you control have plus one attack. I'm not sure how structures are going to have... Oh, some structures can't attack. I forgot about that. Deal one magic damage to all units. So that'll take out an opponent, but it'll also deal damage to you. God Hand is eight. Units you control get plus two attack until end of turn and have their countdown decreased by two. It's kind of a sick picture. Howl for the gods. Units you control get plus two attack until end of turn and have the countdown decreased by two. Okay, something to build up to. Okay, let's give him a plus two attack. And we'll play you out here. So that was three magic damage to target unit. Man. Okay. Um, if I play a ragged wolf here, he is going to do one damage uh, automatically. So we'll we'll take out that idol. Okay. 
So that gun automaton just got a plus one from the machine priest here. Bear paw. Enchanted units get plus two attack and plus two health. Enchanted units countdown is increased by one. See, I'm not sure if I like that. Oh, I didn't move them. Oh. Oh. See, that was foolish. That was foolish. That was a beginner mistake. I don't know how he gets these things. This dude. I'm not a fan. Catapult of Goo. Okay. Let's see, what do I want to do? Let's put an ancestral totem here. And when Brother of the Wolf's countdown is zero, you may reset its countdown to summon a ragged wolf on an adjacent tile. Hmm. Okay, okay. And then the wolf will have haste. Still kind of play this god hand. I gotta start sacrificing stuff so I can play the god hand. Whoa. Okay. Okie dokie. Um, summon three beast rats. What is that? Is that Grave Block Outcast? Pay one growth to fully heal the Grave Block Outcast. Oh, won't that be nice? Huh. Okay. Well. Wouldn't mind an Ancestral Totem right now. Oh, that wasn't where I wanted to put her. Oh, there we go. Not an ancestor totem. I wanted a junkyard. Okay. Now these guys get a plus one. What? What? Nah. Boy, that guy gives a lot of damage all at once. Oh boy. Okay. Let's bring these guys here. That should take out both of these. And then we'll sacrifice that. Okay. Now what does the God Hand do again? Units you control get plus two attack until end of turn and have the counts down decreased by two. So that would give everybody an attack right now. 
but he's going to attack anyway. And get plus two attack. Five, three. That's game. There it is. Um, that was fairly enjoyable. We'll give it a five. So that's a um, a little introduction to scrolls. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll continue going through the tutorials um, and um, we'll continue going through the tutorials and playing some skirmishes and, and doing um, we could also do the the daily trials. So I, don't know, I think this will be fun. Um, I don't know. Eventually, get into multiplayer. But a new game um, that Mojang is working on has been working on for a while, uh, but not, it's not quite as developed as Minecraft is. So good. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is Gabriel of PB and JCraft signing out. Make it a great day.